everyone welcome to sketch a day live i don't know what i'm drawing today as usual so i'm gonna rely on your suggestions i am gonna be sketching digitally i'm using adobe fresco today in case you're wondering <laughs> thanks mecca um so yeah i'm just i'm just gonna do digital today with uh fresco maybe some pen and paper later i don't know if you're watching on instagram i posted a link to the youtube that you can check out <clears throat> as well so just a little placeholder painting here did this last night while watching planet of the apes with the little children's the kiddos maurice is one of my favorite characters in the movie he's just chill super chill what's up karthik Megar. i'm trying to stream a little earlier <laughs> um i'm trying to stream a little earlier but also i might try and do like something late night and see see how that goes so so yeah all right i do have a discord sketchday.com slash discord you can check it out all right i'm gonna say it one last time this is adobe fresco i'm using an ipad pro Everyone always asks, but it's an iPad Pro, see? iPad Pro. I'm in good, Christian. Can I draw the holy hand grenade? I don't know what that is. Holy hand grenade? I've never seen Monty Python. Holy hand grenade. I do have a conference call at 12. So, oh goodness. <laughs> I don't want to offend anyone, so I'm not going to do that. But I'll do something else. I could do a gerbil doing something. All right, I'm gonna warm up here. Yeah, I'll say religion and guns, I will stay away from those because those are things that people are very passionate about, it turns out. At least here in the US. So if you are watching on Instagram and you do want a better view, check out the YouTube. YouTube.com slash sketchaday.com. That's where I'm at. Let's see, maybe I should make this a little brighter. Oh, yeah. Stay gold, everyone. This hat is from Aaron Draplin. Awesome dude, if you've ever met him before. Hello, Jamie, Christian, Kayla. Thanks for joining. I'll just warm up while uh, people trickle in here. No big deal. You can do some warm up sketches, whatever painting whatever you know just drawing painting hanging out doing the thing i mean i could do do a sketch for you mecca but i won't do it live if that makes sense this music is definitely by dj squeak on the ones and twos he has tiny turntables he she they tiny tiny turn turntables This is Adobe Fresco. Everyone keeps asking, why are you using Fresco? One, it's free. Two, I don't have to worry about backing up my files. Three, I've been trying to work on my 
painting and illustration skills and it has pretty phenomenal brushes and brush engines and I just like it so that's what I'm doing I have a commission I need to finish today I had to redo it like five times because and I guess it's a lesson you know don't <laughs> don't start a drawing unless you're sure new tune no this is the this is music that Paul Sohi I can do some watches um, this is music that Paul Sohi uh, made for me let's do some ellipses oops can't draw on a hidden layer Let's see, the other question I asked, I really should do an FAQ, and then I can just post an FAQ, but if you are curious about the stuff I use, I stopped kind of posting this link, but if you are if you are curious, you can check out that link. Sketchaday.com slash stuff, I believe. Yeah. Just goes over like the basics of the tools I use. So my, my pen and ink guide is almost done. Well, it's hard because you work on these things, not you, I work on these things and then I'm like, oh shoot, I forgot about this, I forgot about that. And then before you know it, it's 50 pages of instruction or information. So this one, this one would probably have like three or four demos and then got some visual examples, information on tools, materials, pens to buy, how to pick your pens, things like that. So it's going to be jam packed with information, information, but yeah, it'll be a good one. Um, and if you haven't gotten the marker guide, I don't know, I don't, I don't know if people like using markers or not, but I still do. Alright, I did get a question. I did get a question about page composition, so maybe I can start with that. Or warm up with the watch and then we'll jump into some page composition stuff, like how to lay out your pages. The killer rabbit. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know, I don't know what that looks like. Oh goodness, like a killer bunny. I could do a killer bunny. Why not? Okay, so I'll do a watch sketch first. Alright, so you can do a lot of cool stuff when you offset your ellipses. Alright, this is sketch done without tools, so I'm just kind of showing you the contour lines here. How this might work. You know, this line will come up, maybe up like so, and then back down. And then now I can kind of pick the direction for the watch. So if the watch is, you know, going that way, then my uh, strap, whatever. I don't even know the correct terms. Anyhow, I'm just gonna draw two arcs, one there, one there. Connect this side. Let's make a smaller pencil here so we can get some detail. I'm gonna try and treat this like a, like a real pencil, a little bit like a real pencil. And then I'll do the killer rabbit. Yeah, I've never seen Monty Python. Maybe I should, but I've never seen it. I guess it's a, a big part of American culture or British culture. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't grow up with it, so. I did. Uh, I did grow up with Mr. Bean. 
you know we did the mini cooper yesterday mini cooper sketch all right so just adding some thickness here to this watch i feel like i do watches all the time cars is it that people forget or they just want to see it done over and over again i'm not quite sure not quite sure what it is or maybe everyone's just not everyone maybe we just have a few horologists that enjoy this stuff whatever the case may be still fun Just a little warm-up sketch here. Before we get into our killer bunny. And just a reminder, this is Adobe Fresco. It's the app I'm using. Really, I just I just wanted to mix it up, I guess. So that's why I'm using it today. Just wanted to mix it up. All right, so now I'm gonna try and sketch some sort of band here, and I'm gonna do links. So I'll just kind of block this in. So just kind of block this in a little bit. I am curious. I did. I already asked the patrons. I'm kind of, you know, the patrons and channel members. They're gonna get the guides for free. The ones that I do. So there will be a perspective guide, digital guide, pen guide, marker guide, and I think a design career guide, um, which will just be kind of short. And that one, that one will be like exclusive to channel members. So creative career slash design guide um but i was wondering if you guys wanted to know something about drawing with pens what would you want to know so like i said i already asked the patrons and channel members if you didn't get a chance to answer that i am curious what would you like to know I'm being lazy not looking at the actual closure on a real watch here or the number of links. But maybe I can sneak an extra one in. Maybe. Okay, so after this, I'm gonna do the Monty Python Killer Bunny, it's called, I think. That was the request by one of our lovely patrons, Mecha Art, the Saint, the Saint, do I work out? Yes, the Saint Patron, the Saint, the Patron Saint, Patreon Saint of Gerbils. What's up, Applejacks? Thanks for joining. A little lost in acoustic, Felix. What's up? It's fun to watch an Instagram and YouTube at the same time. That sounds crazy. The only reason I, well, I shouldn't say the only reason. One of the reasons I have it on YouTube, or sorry, Instagram, is just different audiences. And frankly, as a, as a creative person trying to make it online, you 
gotta widen the funnel, so to speak, but I think it's a better experience on YouTube than it is on Instagram. That's just my take. That's just my take, but your mileage may vary. I wonder if I should treat this like a pencil sketch. I think I will. Just like a straight up pencil sketch. Sometimes it can be hard to start light and build up. Okay, I already got that. Smear test, I already have that. Ooh, how much it smears when you rub your hand. Okay, that's something I didn't, I didn't think about. So, copy these, put them in my little notes, my notesy notes. Sounds sounds intense, but I will do it. That I will do. Yeah, so I don't I don't want to do guns or religious things because people it's those are things that are near and dear to people's hearts, and I don't want to create a situation where I'm causing undue stress because not what I want to do. Not it all. Alright, little reflection here. Like I said, I'm going to. I think I'm going to keep this one pencil. It's kind of nice to work with pencil without worrying about the pencil smearing. I will say. Although Fresco, if you if you like the smear stuff, Fresco does have a lovely smudge tool. If you want to get in there and get all smudgy. create the appearance of some sort of collective surface here so thinking about things like the rounds where the reflections are happening artifacting when I say artifact I mean uh, things that get compressed Back into the surface. Back to the surface. Sounds like sounds like some adventure movie, where society of, un, of subterranean uh, subterranean humans decides to leave, and then like they're having to confront the reality that life continued on the surface. back to the surface that would be interesting to do some links here, so I'm going to rough these in, like so. I 
I'll get to the face in just a minute. On our warm-up sketch. And the, the next request was the Killer Bunny from Monty Python, which I've never seen. Okay, dude, I didn't get Inception either. Just kidding. What is your... Oh, yeah, I did ask you this before. Your favorite Christopher Nolan movie. Um, What was it I was going to watch? I don't remember what I was going to watch the other day. I don't remember. Oh, I'm competing with the music volume? Okay. Oh, yeah, it's a little bit louder. Sorry. Is that better now? Should be better. Thank you, Latrice. I use comparisons to Hitler to win arguments on the internet. Thanks for joining. Cat Clue is saying, so when do you start your daily stream? I'm always late. Um, it does vary, but I try to hit around 9 a.m. my time, which 9 10 a.m. So somewhere between 8 and 9 Pacific. I don't have a set time because I don't know what the best time is, frankly. And Yeah, I, I wish I knew I wish I knew how to best the algorithm on this platform and create <laughs> interest in what I'm doing, but yeah. It's some sometimes it feels like a bit of madness. I will say. Anyhow, um as long as you have alerts turned on and let's say you have the YouTube app on your on your phone. You'll get an alert. You'll get a push notification. It'll say Spencer or Sketch a Day is now live, right? And then you can just join. So that's what I would do. But I don't know how everyone is with, you know, apps and phone. Some people get here every time. So I guess like Lions, um, Mecca, Latrice, how do you do it? Do you just have do you, do you have the bell turn on? What do you do? I mean, there's a hundred and something thousand people, but obviously not everyone's gonna join the same time. But I'm just curious. You seem to be here quite a bit. Maybe you've hacked into my computer or my smart home system, and you like. You know, you're like Santa Claus, maybe. Maybe Lions is actually Santa Claus. And you guys just know when I go live, regardless. So I just mapped out a little ellipse here because I'm trying to create the impression that this is casting a shadow on the band. So notification pop up. Yeah, so if you have a notification on, I know it, it sounds annoying, but if you actually care, like I, I follow a few channels. Um. I think I mentioned I I watched chess. And so one of my favorite channels, yeah, I have notifications on for him. So when he uploads a video or goes live, I get to see it, you know? So that's what I would do. I think they'll, they can send you an email too. That's another way, but that's kind of slow. So it just depends on, I think this link is ridiculously small. Um, just depends on how you want to do it. Okay, I want there to be some good shadow under there. Let's hint at some more links here. So I'm probably gonna stream, let's see, I'll stream till Let's see, it'll be about a two, two and a half hour stream today. Um, I just have a phone call I need to do. I got a consulting gig, possibly designing some headphones. So I've got to like, I got to do that. I 
And then I'm giving a keynote address tomorrow for the University of Houston's design program. It's going to be on designing yourself. The greatest design project you will ever work on. Well, not ever, because, you know, kids. But, you know, you kind of have to be a bit hyperbolic and declarative sometimes to catch people's fancy like, ooh, what's this about? It's funny, my kids, um, <laughs> this one day we were, I think we were driving by a coffee shop or something. My oldest was like, Dad, it's the world's best coffee. <laughs> I'm like, how do you know it's the world's best coffee? <laughs> He's like, because it says so. Anyhow, it just reminded me of marketing and how, like, yeah, hyperbolic statements can sometimes create impressions, right? Speaking of impressions, what do you guys think of uh, Apple's new headphones they announced? I will say I'm not buying them. <laughs> I found myself really bothered by it yesterday and so I kind of I was I was like joking around and whatever and then I like paused to think about it I was like why why is this bugging you so I'll, I'll share those thoughts eventually but I'm still processing through it It feels extortionate and egregious. That's where I've settled on the price. And if you don't know, it's 550 bucks for your headphones. If you buy them, 550. It's a lot of money. It's like half the cost. You, you could get. You could get a decent iPad Air or Pro that's used for that money, you know. It's a lot of money for headphones. Now, they're different products, certainly, but man, I was a little bit shocked. Not gonna lie. Yeah, they're $550 for a pair of headphones. You want to learn how to play chess? Um, so if you download the chess.com app, um, Latrice, you can, it's free, first of all, and then they have lessons and you can pay. I, I pay, I used to, I don't pay for it anymore, but you can pay and then you'll see, um, they have like lessons in there that you can, you can take basically. So you could start there. You could also just watch um, videos, like I said, on YouTube. It's a great way to do it. Why is this song playing twice? It's playing twice. Hold up. Oh, that's weird. We'll switch it up. Apple Pro Max Reverse Twist Bop at 9000. <laughs> I've heard the Sony, yeah, the uh, I've heard those only paired to two devices, and I've heard that used as a justification to say, well, these AirPods Max or whatever they're called, paired to more than two devices. I'm like, is that really worth the money though? A lot of money, do a lot with that money. Anyhow, knowing Apple, they'll be fine. I mean. Billion dollar company, and they don't really care what people think, so I'm sure they will be, they'll be just fine. This is definitely a warm up sketch because I think I can feel like a little bit slow. It's fun though, and like I said, the, br the brush engine in Fresco is pretty good, it's pretty good. At least I like it.
I'm just making up some mechanism. I'm not looking at anything here. It's just suggesting that there's some sort of release or whatever. All right, let's do the face now. Just kind of saving this for last. So I got a little highlight section there. Shade that in. The shape was opposite or something for the 12, 9, 3, and 6. I'm just going to hint at that. I'm not going to really show it. The angle's a little bit off on the face here, but it's all good. It's all good. Maybe a little bit of texture. Then we will do some ellipses. Do people wear normal watches anymore? Or does everyone just kind of wear a smartwatch? You know, some people. Some people go with Fitbit, other people go with Apple Watch. Just curious. I'm being non specific in the um, stacking order here as well. If I were like actually designing this, I would do like I would take that portion, right? And then do like a big sketch to be like, okay, second hand is on top. Here's here's how that interfaces. Maybe there's a little. So you kind of have to pick, I think, pick your battles, right? When it comes to sketching and decide <clears throat> where, how, when are you gonna show those details, right? Yeah, <laughs> because three three day battery life. You don't want your wrist to spy on you. I don't blame you. Who knows what companies are doing with with your data? I forgot the the name of the documentary, but there's there's one on Netflix about social media networks and how they collect data and influence our thinking. I'm trying to remember. What it was called but it's a pretty good one i'm sure if you search for a social media documentary it'll pop up all right so there's my watch sketch if you want to rotate it to rotate it just make a selection here rotate it slightly Deselect and I'll throw in some little hint of a shadow here or something. Just scratch this in. Wow, what a year it's been, guys. I've been streaming. For about a year, a lot's changed in the studio. I don't know if you guys remember. <laughs> Used to have different mics, different cameras, lights, even the background. A lot of stuff's changed, but I do appreciate much of the feedback and support you guys have given me. Some people have come and gone, have offended people, I'm sure. A lot happened this year. Right? At the pandemic, of course. 
that happened. Well, not happen is happening. Um. So yeah, a lot, a lot this year. It's crazy if you think about it. It really is. The social dilemma, yes, the social dilemma. That's the one. All right, so there's our warm up sketch today. Quick little watch, watchy watch. Was it Karthik that asked for it? I'm trying to remember. No, it was. I don't remember who. For math? No. Anyhow, someone asked earlier if I work out. Yes, I work out every day. So again, Fresco is cool because this is now stored on Adobe Creative Cloud. In fact, I'm looking at my laptop or my desktop here and I can open this file right now if I want to. So that is nice. Um, it automatically stores to your cloud documents, it's called. I'm not sure how much storage actually you get. <laughs> I think it depends on your account, but it's nice to not have to think about it is, is the point. So no matter what happens, it'll all be there. All right. So I'm going to do the killer rabbit from Monty Python. All right. So let's start with, I'm going to use a bigger pencil here and let's just get What do these what do these little little things look like? Do we need a an overall silhouette first? So kind of like I did yesterday, I'm just gonna do some gestures. And is it a floppy-eared rabbit? Alright, we have floppy ears. But uh, I'm just gonna do some gestures and then you know I can worry about all the details and whatnot. I guess it has teeth. Or something. So just little gesture sketches. Keep it rough. I wonder if I should try. I know we have charcoal now in the app. Which is kind of nice. If you like using charcoal, let's see. A little bit firmer of a brush in terms of pressure to be applied. I actually don't know if I like it. I like the soft pencil better. So in Fresco, I should mention as well, if you, if you tap on your brushes, you'll see like a little star next to the brush. Small right, white rabbit that guards a cave. Okay. Um, you see a little star, so I can tap on that, and then I have all my favorite brushes. So I do like that in terms of in terms of saving time. I'm trying to decide which way which way the bunny should should face. Looks like kind of like a dog, though. Um, let's see. Like, is the bunny kind of crouched down and heads looking up? Do bunnies crouch down? Maybe. All right, looking up. Do something like that. It's an interesting, interesting gesture and pose. You can do hello, Ricardo. <laughs> Screams in pain. Hello, <laughs> Dev Art. Am I taking requests? Yeah, I'm taking requests. Um, I have to finish this, this killer, killer bunny.
but we're just chill no rush today i'm definitely trying to like not necessarily slow down the well i guess slow down the pace a little bit but also just just be chill no rush we're here we're hanging out it's 50 of you hello thank you thank you for tuning in just your typical regular pose for a rabbit so i don't need to do any like crazy like the ears are up or something <laughs> i guess sometimes they do have ears like that right see that looks like a chihuahua or something though I kind of like that one. Seems menacing enough. I mean, you could could always do like a. Let me make sure. I... Oh, I see the rabbit now. I see it. I was just looking at a picture of the actual killer rabbit. To get the right shape for the rabbit head eventually so i haven't really been looking at a rabbit head i guess they kind of have cheeks it would be funny if the teeth were like hanging out and then this is like the chin right there I don't know if you guys can see that it just has this like smug smug killer rabbit So which pose looks kind of like Pikachu as well, but which pose are we going to do? I'm going to say no on that one. This one's kind of interesting, but might be a bit challenging as well. Also do something like this. But yeah, it starts to feel a little bit Pikachu-ish. Oh, maybe it is. <laughs> Do they have like a, don't they have like fluffy tails or something? What does a rabbit tail look like? Yeah, look, do they have a fluffy tail? All right, so we got some gestures to start with. Let's scale these down a bit. All right, I'll use that as reference. And then let's go ahead and start. Start scribbling. Fix up. Look sharp. Tim the Warlock warned King Arthur about the Killer Rabbit and how it's cruel and brutal. He even pointed all the bones. Ooh. Thank you, Latrice. Always solid. Yeah, I don't know which direction to go. Some of these are kind of fun. I mean, it could be, it could be a rabbit jumping as well more of an action pose certainly <laughs> yeah let's see pardon me I was up pretty late last night I feel like now I'm starting to feel now I'm starting to feel it and it could also be the, the rabbit from behind, I didn't even consider that. Let's see. 
What does the rabbit look like jumping? Maybe it's it's lunging at us. It's little rabbit feet. Kinda like that actually. <laughs> Alright, so you could do something like that. I wasn't careful, so I'm gonna have to like chop this and then see scale it out of the way and finish the parts yeah so just gestures are a great way um, to kind of quickly work something out. I guess if the shadow was a bit lower it would feel feel a bit more off the ground. Alright, so I'm gonna do this one kinda quick, I hope. <laughs> Pretty fun. What does drawing mean to me? Drawing means the ability to communicate complex ideas simply. Hello Tom, I'm doing well. We're just chilling. Yeah, I think I may need to, I may need to take a nap today. Do the teeth go up on the killer bunny or is it down? Kind of like the, the ears being like crazy. Should it be like jacked? It looks like a it looks like a Pikachu, and I'm sure someone's gonna say it, so I'll just say it ahead of time to save you the trouble. <laughs> Cause yeah, someone's gonna say that. It looks like Pikachu. fine if the ears are down I think it looks less less like Pikachu I will say that so just some big floppy eared floppy eared rabbit the the killer rabbit in, in Monty Python anyways has like I think it has like blood dripping from it and stuff so I'll try and capture that you know maybe there's 
some remnants of something over here. Uh, maybe it'll just be pencil and, and some red. Keep it simple. This is obviously exaggerated. All right. Now, shape of the head. Something feels off, like I need to hold up. I may need to move this eye. But I think once I get the face mostly right, Sorry guys, I'm just trying to make sure I get the right gesture here in terms of the shape of the face. Feels better to me. Where am I from? Mm, I'm in Utah. Salt Lake City, Utah. That's where I am. The United States. Even if I did draw a Serpent Charlotte, we still need to include Doll Charlotte. I'm not sure what that is. Let's see here. Fuzzy tail. Definitely, definitely needs to be a bone of some sort in this scene, so. Bone or two. All right, so I'm gonna leave, oh, actually, mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I should be able to turn that off now. Kill a bunny. Yeah, I've never seen Monty Python, so apologies to Python fans. What do they call you guys? Pythons? Pythans? Pie fans, pie stands. He said he guarded some cave, right? So I'll just throw some Throw some squiggle squiggles back here and let's do like some intense color pop now for the blood. Let's see, fountain pen, is that what I want to use? I have no idea. I'm just playing with some different pens these are the default brushes but i do have my own brush so maybe i'll maybe i'll use my own sketch day brushes here because at least i know what i'm gonna get let's see let's see let's use the heavy pencil yeah the heavy dirty pencil it just has a nice texture to it so I'm going to go ahead and use that. All right, so this is on a new layer just so I can kind of do the effect without messing up the drawing itself. If the lake is of salt, are the buildings also salt? Indeed. Indeed. Guardian of the squiggle squiggles. Squiggle, 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 yeah. I'm not good at blood. I don't draw blood a lot, actually. So this color is probably completely off. But I do like the idea of some sort of puddle. Some sort of puddle. <laughs> Sorry, lines. So I did I did mention to you lines yesterday that having having an English accent is probably a very useful and marketable skill all right so i'm gonna wrap this one i don't want to keep working on it so if you have any 
other suggestions. Having an English accent is probably, ooh, pardon me, probably a marketable skill. But you had mentioned like not all English accents are created equally. So I'd be curious to hear what you mean. Like, is it is it just regional or what? Yeah, I don't I don't usually draw lots of blood. <laughs> But I have a comic book friend that I keep mentioning. Um, he's really good at it. I just, yeah. Not my jam. All right, so we started out with the watch. For those who missed out, if you want to catch that, you can get the replay on YouTube. Check it out. Um, once again, if you're watching on the Instagram, I'm not really paying attention to it. I'm, I'm streaming on YouTube, so this is just a courtesy to say hey. You can always check out the link and join in, make requests, whatever. Uh, of course it's not Mark. So is it the opposite in the UK when Apple does a video, they have an American accent? I'm wondering. Or what would be considered to be uh, marketable in the UK? I'm curious in terms of accents. All right, what are we drawing next? What are we drawing next? Serpent Charlotte. I don't know what that is. I'm going to go Google that. I've been drawing a lot of things I never thought I would draw on a <laughs> on a live stream. Okay, that's just a snake, but I don't want to draw a snake. Um Let's see. Yeah, that's a very specific request. All right, in the meantime, in the meantime, the theme this week is my favorite things or favorite things. I, I don't think I've drawn, I haven't really drawn my own favorite things. So yeah, I'll just do a robot for fun. I haven't really done that. At least haven't done it in a while, I should say. I have to decide what this robot would be doing anyways. What would we what would we want it to be doing? So just standing there. And what if I give it like a really flat head? Maybe some sort of suit like this could be cool. Really high, just a really high chest plate. Maybe some reinforcement in the back. Just kind of think through this. Now's the time when you're doing a your rough sketch. If you want to make changes, you can make those changes. It might be position of the legs, right? So you can kind of, and this is extreme, obviously, but moving legs further back or down or forward or whatever. Um, it's more about slight tweaks, really, for me at this point. Um, so let's go ahead and scale down a bit. And 
giving COVID vaccines. What? Oh, a space dino. <laughs> I could do a space dino. That'd be fun. Some sort of space, space dino. You ever, think, you ever see like a robot sketch and you're like, why does it have a cod piece? That's weird. Somehow it just feels right. Can't really explain it. One of those things you just, you just accept it. The robot has a cod piece. But yes, I love drawing robots. I grew up um, reading, not really reading, but just more admiring comics, anime, stuff like that. And so I've always just enjoyed and had a fascination with all of it. Maybe this is some insane gun or weapon or whatever. Should the robot have tiny, tiny feet? Sometimes that feels kind of cool. And then you could do like some cool surface transitions in terms of armor, where that goes. So I would like erase this. Maybe change the shape a little bit here, maybe. Google gets really confused when talking about Charlotte Serpent. Ah, okay. Sometimes can I sometime can I explain what the different layer types do? Um, I know there's mathematical formulas and algorithms that determine what happens with the layers. So multiply basically you can kind of think of it as anything that's black. Becomes darker. <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm not entirely sure. And I, I know color burn like some affect hue, some affect um, just value, things like that. So I'd have to I'd have to kind of look it up. I think. Have to look it up. But yeah, for whatever reason, robots with a cod piece just feel <laughs> feel right. Maybe that's some sort of cable. I don't know. Finger is itching all of a sudden, really weird. Hello, Katie Bear. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't know how to pronounce people's usernames. Katie Bear. Oh. Oh.
All right, this dude has three fingers. So I need some sort of trigger area. I know I said I don't do guns. Like I'll do sci-fi stuff, but I won't do, I've had people request, hey, can you do this Glock or this thing? And I'm just like, no, I'm not gonna do that. But I'll do robot sci-fi stuff. Maybe that's hypocritical of me, I don't know. I was just thinking, what if what if this is like some heavy duty robot dude that has like some extra stuff on the back? I don't know, just playing, just playing, playing with shapes. So once again, <laughs> this is Adobe Fresco. It's free. doing a little quick sketch here. I'm trying to decide if I want to paint this or like do it do like a speed painting of some sort. I don't know yet. Probably. I think I will. I'll do like a nice, quick, chunky, chunky paint. Any tips for drawing the shadow? Yeah, so right here, if I were to cut through my robot with like a laser knife, maybe, I don't know what the back exactly looks like, but maybe it, it looks something like this. And then as you wrap the shape, something like that right so if that's the shape right there what i'm doing is just saying what does this shape look like on the ground same with the hand here what does that look like on the ground okay and so when i connect those shapes if i were to cut through here 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 connect all those what does that look like so that's where the shadow shape comes from and then a little bit of a cheat Right there, I'm not really factoring this in, but that's how I think about think about shadows. So, good question, thank you. How do I feel about mechs? Are they my favorite thing to draw? Uh, they're one of my favorite things to draw, for sure. For sure, so... I don't think I've actually painted a mech here, so I'm gonna try and do that. So maybe a little bit bigger on the top. And then after this, we had a request for a space dino. Let's see how I'm feeling in a little bit. I'm not satisfied with the shape in the middle here, so I'm going to try and... See if I can make something of it. Maybe this should come to a point instead. It also feels a little bit maybe too simple. And so I'm just trying to come up with some shape here that makes sense. Could also have some sort of thing coming out. Yeah, the Instagram live thing is weird when you're drawing because I'm not sure what people are trying to accomplish when they ask you to join your video. It's like, hey, you're drawing. Can I join in? It's like, join in in what? Can 
kind of odd. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the middle middle here, but I could have could have some sort of panel up front perhaps. Hmm. Yeah. Not satisfied. I don't want to do a circle because whenever you do a circle in the front of a robot, everyone goes, "Oh, it's Iron Man." I'm like, no, it's not Iron Man. But thematically, I like the idea of a simple geometric shape. So why do I keep doing this? Let's think. Simple geometry. Simple. And then maybe, maybe we can mirror some of that, some of that simplicity. Perhaps. Oh man, tired. Sorry guys. Whew. You're welcome on the tip that's that's how i think about it anyways Still not exactly sure what's happening on these thighs, but I think I can do something with it. I think I can, I think I can. Make sure to show love. Oh, thanks, Lions. <laughs> All right, should we put a human in this sketch? Humans, humans are good in sketches because they help um, show scale, right? So if I if I drew a person here, for example, it's just blocking in. But if I drew maybe this person's crouching down, now that I think about it. If you draw a person, well maybe maybe they have their gun too. But they're looking off this way. Anyway, when you have a person it gives a sense of scale. Right? So how many people tall is this thing? Immediately. So yeah, people are having people in a sketch is a great way to kind of do that. If we have some like some props on the ground, maybe some crates. You know. It's kind of hard to decide because now I like this like negative surface business that I've got starting up here. Anyhow, but I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna make this a quick painting. It's coming together in my head anyways. I say quick, but it'll probably take me about an hour, yeah, maybe 40 minutes. Also, I should point out, um, if you if you missed yesterday and you just want to see a certain part of the video, I've actually been going through and chaptering everything out on the videos. So you can go back and watch if you just want to see the Mini Cooper painting I did yesterday, which is, let's see, this one right here. It's all chaptered out. It's chaptered out as like, okay, here's the rough sketch, here's the painting. Um, and then same thing for this SR-71 
Blackbird I did. <clears throat> That's all chaptered out. So if you want to go back, I'm trying to put time in and make it a little easier for you to find things. And then just working on updating those descriptions. All right. Oh, I just got, I just got a, a very sweet email. It says, you've made a difference. I'm not going to read it live here, but uh, <laughs> it's making me choke up a little bit. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's keep going. <laughs> that was, that was an unexpected treat. Okay. So we could have... I mean, it depends, like, if you want your figure to be, like, maybe he's looking up at said robot. We'll just play around a bit and see, see what we come up with here in terms of... Right, so there's that shadow trick again. I'm just thinking of these shapes being projected down. Um... But maybe there's someone here looking at our robot. I don't really want to make it like an action thing, though. So I'll change that. Just erase. You could erase, you could clear, you could select, delete, whatever. What's up, Hendrik? Oh, you can you can watch the Starship launch. It Starship looks amazing. Are they going to launch it and 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 uh capture it or what's the I, I didn't catch that today that'd be a fun painting actually space x starship oh yeah that thing that thing looks insane like i love how um it looks like just steel right it's just cold gray gray steel it's pretty crazy all right, so I'm I'm feeling good about robot dude. What just happened? Okay, I'm feeling good about robot dude. So let's do. Maybe set up. Maybe not even so much a, a definitive environment, but at least maybe some lines for some lines. <laughs> some lines for perspective. This could be a street scene. It could be a lot of different things, right? But at least I have have some lines here to work with. So maybe it is someone. I'm gonna have to shrink shrink this person. So let me do it on a new layer, um, and I'll show you with like perspective. This is just placeholder person, right? But person that big makes it feel, you know, reasonably sized, especially if, if the person's here, for example. But as you move back, if the person's even this small, right, it really changes the scale of the scene. And then if you bring, so there's, there's vertical position on the page that's going to, kind of say where the person is and now I have these elements in the back so if someone's standing on this sidewalk but they're this far away chances are the robot's bigger than the human but not that much bigger right if I make make the human this big then they're probably comparably sized but I do want to create somewhat of a reason like a crazy scale difference here so I'm just gonna throw this in for reference for my scale why is he oddly cute? <laughs> he is kind of cute, I guess. I always draw cute things, though. Well, I, sh I shouldn't say I always draw cute things, but I do have a tendency, like, when I do my own stuff, to be a bit cuter with things. Sinister is a bit challenging for me, I think. All right, enough on robot. 
<laughs> Thank you, Latrice. You're very kind. Just doing my thing, man. I don't know where it all will end or lead or whatever, but just doing my thing. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to get rid of these crates, too. It feels feels weird to me now. Um, what was I going to say? I don't know where... Okay. <laughs> I don't know where I want to put the person yet. I'm still kind of thinking through it, so bear with me. Bear with me. Yeah, maybe I'll pull up the SpaceX launch too. I, I I wasn't aware that was going on myself. But that that new rocket, if you haven't seen it, it it feels like Oh shoot. It feels like um something retro but also futuristic. At the same time, hold on. Okay. Sorry, I got a little, little sidetracked. I had a work thing come through, and I just realized I may have a conflict with a thing on Friday. I'm, uh, Training some Google engineers on Friday. All right. Let's do human. I mean, human could be could be just this person, right? Maybe some some military type backpack and then we could just do some some paint strokes in the background. We'll just do some simple stuff. We'll make we'll make the focus the robot here. All right, so I may not get to the dino because I, I got a little sidetracked and I'm gonna have to haul here. So we'll see. So let's go to, since I love, I mean, I don't have to use those live brushes, um, but they are fun. Let's see, dry media, hard pastel, I could use that. I want this, this guy to be like red. Trying to think, should I do hello Dado Dadito? Currently watching Charlotte's Doll. Let's put the sketch above. I always forget this. Um, if the sketch is above, then I can kind of see see what's happening. I'm gonna lock this layer too. So that way I can't draw on the layer. It's gonna scream at me. Just so I don't mess up. Let's go ahead and block in some colors.
Now this is the same color, but I'll come back over this and I think try and hit it with some other brushes or this brush. I don't know. We'll see. But I am going to need to kind of tone the drawing because if I turn that layer off, you'll just see I'm just blocking in color. Just like I said. <laughs> so. And I guess for me, I've just been experimenting lately with more painting. I, I grew up with my father who, he loved painting. And I always wanted to do it, but I always felt like I couldn't. I don't know. I think it's just self-doubt. So lately I've just been like saying, you know what, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm just going to paint and see what happens so that is what we're doing so i'm guessing when you guys like watch these streams you don't like stop life and are like okay spencer's on i'm just gonna i'm just gonna chill here Right? So that would be that would be remarkable. <laughs> Have I stopped sketching on paper? No, I haven't stopped sketching on paper. But mixing things up is always good. I'm trying to develop more confidence sketching digitally, actually, because I, I feel like I have a lot of confidence on paper. And so I'm trying to see if I can just be as deliberate as I am on paper digitally. That's, that's one of my... One of my goals, I guess. Just seeing how these this blends. Looks like I need more contrast. There we go. All right, so now I can kind of get some highlights and shadows in. But yeah, I haven't stopped sketching on paper. Not planning on stopping paper. I just. Just wanted to mix it up today. If you're not changing it up, you're not growing, right? So I'm in the business of growth. Always. Someone was asking me, I usually get questions about, oh, do you, do you ever do pastel? This is actually um, the pastel brush in Adobe Fresco. So again, I just, I love the brush engine. It works really well. So if you guys want to try it out, you can try it out. Using some warm and cool colors here for my shadows. Well, uh, let's see.
So on Friday, I'm probably going to do a late night. What if the word drinking is just two words, dry and inking? That's true. What if? What if? Oh, you work from home. Cool. Yeah. I mean, I guess I'm technically working right now. <laughs> technically. Come on. There we go. So you want to put your lightest lights against your darkest darks when you're doing things like core shadows, and that's going to help. It's going to help with your contrast and how things show up. I think I am going to make the head, make the head red too. But yeah, if you're, if you're doing the same thing all the time, you're not going to grow, which is fine. Some people are content to be where they want to be. Nothing wrong with that. I uh, personally just realized, like, especially, you know, in, in life, you can kind of get in patterns and ruts pretty easily. And I just... I don't like that for myself, <laughs> so I'm trying to just do some different things, try some different things. Even if it's as simple as like a different pose, even if you're drawing the same thing, you know, try a different pose, try a different whatever. Actually, I'm just going to fill this in. So. Just trying to get some gray spots here. And this is all on the same layer, mind you. Do I want that? No, I don't want that gray, but show some some stuff in here. So yeah, tr always try and push yourself. Always try and like do something different, try a different angle, approach, technique, method, if you can. Let's see where we're at. <clears throat> so I got this guy. Um, I'm going to paint without the background for a bit, without the like under sketch. So I have enough shapes blocked in, I think. Reminds me of Big Hero 6, but not really. Something's off with that leg, too. I'm going to try and fix. <clears throat> or maybe it's this leg. Like, maybe it needs to be more... More like this or something. Yeah. That feels better. So, I'm going to tweak that leg eventually. Can I tell a little bit about my job? So, I am an industrial designer. I do consulting projects with companies in terms of product design but i also quite enjoy visual communication art painting things like that so i do um i do engagements with companies in terms of um, in terms of visual communication type stuff but I also um, teach this is what I'm doing here online so that's a little bit I don't know if you have any specific questions but 
I currently, well, I used to work for a smart home company and then I left. It was a lot like leaving a little bit of an abusive relationship in some ways where maybe you doubt yourself every day because that's just the nature of the world. Um, I shared a quote, not a quote, but I shared a thought on Instagram the other day. I stand by it. The world is invested in your doubt. In your ability to doubt yourself. What I mean by that, meant to mean, what I mean by that though is like, you know, marketing. When, when a company markets something to you, they, they're hoping that you feel the need to, to have that product or that service or that thing because it's somewhere inside you, you perceive an inadequacy. And so I think if you can realize that and take some power back for yourself and realize like, no, I'm actually, I'm good, I'm worth something, I'm whatever then it's actually empowering that's i think that's what's uh at stake anyway what does that have to do with work well believe in yourself good things will happen all right cast a vote in yourself every day do something to improve be a better human be a better person it'll pay off I believe that. We'll see. <laughs> but uh, I certainly personally believe that. Being a content creator is not easy, though, I will say. Um, And it's, it's not something that you do, I think, solely. I mean, it's nice to get paid, but it's not something you do just for money. Because I tell you what, man, it is not very lucrative. All right, it's just making a couple of tweaks here now, so wanted to turn off the background so I could focus on and, and tweak some things. The day is going well. The day is going well. <laughs> Macho Man Randy Savage is the painting instructor. Can you imagine? <laughs> oh, yeah. Or the Kool-Aid Man. Yeah, so this leg in the front is bugging me, so I'm going to now make a selection here. All right, let's, uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut and then paste. And that's because I just want a different layer so I can do some stuff like that. Like, do we want more of a vertical? position for the leg right create some separation and then I'll probably change oops I always do that probably change this a little bit so let's pick this color now and what I'm going to do with the brush is change how this is lit it's lit name that artist change how this is lit so that I can now essentially change the shape, right? So if I put my hard edge here now, maybe right there, take some of these blues that I'm using for, for my shades.
So yeah, I'm digging these this pastel brush. It's kind of cool. I mean, if you want to tighten things up now, this is where you would you would like come in. You know, take some of these colors with a smaller brush, and you can hit these areas. Lightest lights, darkest darks, things like that. build up yeah so even that little detail there I mean that's that's something I talk about all the time I think lightest lights darkest darks contrast contrast is your friend what is this If gritty does it mean that we <laughs> yes gritty textured whatever you want to call it yes yes to all of that all right this guy's supposed to have like three fingers so Let's see if I can get this sorted
Again, there's that darkest darks, lightest lights coming into play. Just go a little bit lighter. You can get get some nice contrast in. Okay. Or you run into gestural issues as well. Welcome to my iPad, everyone. Yeah, I'm so hungry. Uh, and Naga says, it looks so weird. I'd love to see yours. You should uh, hop into the Discord and share some of your work. That would be awesome. It would be really cool. It's sketchday.com slash Discord. If you'd like to also contribute. Should I do a dark shadow? I'll just do a light. So yeah, again I'm just I'm just thinking of the shape here. Like so. I need drawing trail mix to snack on. It sounds like something a gerbil or a hamster would do. That feels a little bit better. I, can't fi I cannot figure out why. Sorry, I'm just blocking in here just to see if it's the stomach. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, hop on the Discord. Was it Anaga? Ooh, Anaga with the complaint. It looks weird. Hop on, share your stuff.
All right, so I think I think I'll keep the gun fairly loose. Get fairly loose here, but you know, focus on lighting, texture, whatnot. Thanks for sharing that link lines. Let's see what else I can do here to enhance our perspective. Maybe I'll take this arm, slightly scale it up. Feels a little bit better. Rotate, rotate this, put it here. Move it off to the side a bit more. I'm trying to think of the right spot for it, but it kind of works. Just a slight adjustment. It's like very, very slight. And then let's do a little bit more surgery. Just a little bit of a little bit of hacky hack. Is it that I decided? Yeah. Yeah. See that feels better. Yeah. And then I think on the back end I'll take some of this gray. Let me. Please let me. So I'll have to modify this leg as well, but. I think this would come back here. Take some of this, move it back like so. Yeah, that feels good. Um, and now let's do, sometimes you just gotta like play with it until it feels right and then you'll be just fine. But ultimately it's whatever you wanna do, right? Good morning, thank you, Dylan Carter. We're just, we're just playing around here on the streamy stream, stream of streams. There's one more brush I wanted to use, but I'm trying to decide if I should. It's because I'm kind of obsessed with it right now. All right, let's make this portion a little bit darker there, and then we'll go, and then we'll go lighter right there. Reduce the size, get a nice part line in. All right, get a nice part line in like so. A wild ah appeared. Let's see who just joined the Discord. Oh yeah, there you go. That's you. All right. 
Thanks for joining. So I am a product designer. You'll see a lot of product design sketches in there, but illustrations are certainly welcome. We have a channel called Extra Visual. That's where, you know, if you're if you're into computer graphics or something else, and you want to share your stuff, you can share it there too. So don't feel like you have to do the same thing everyone's doing, all right? One of my friends said it best to me the other day. I don't care what tool you use, just draw. <laughs> right, so just get moving, draw, do something, get creative. Doesn't freaking matter. When I was younger, I used to be pickier, but just draw. Just draw, experiment, try things, make mistakes, get messy. Figure out what works for you. All right. But yeah, I'm going to finish this backpack. I think I'm going to had like a wash in the back. I had this, there's this cool, let's see, it was the ink roller, I think it was, yeah, the ink roller brush. So I think I'm gonna wash this, just some gray. Maybe, we'll see. Mm, trying to decide. I'm going to keep it white. I'll keep it white after all. I decided I do not like. What was I using again? I was using this is the pastel. I think I was using a pastel. Pretty sure. Either way, if not, it's not, no big deal. No biggie. No biggity. I like to bag it, bag it up. I like the square pastel. No biggity. Shoot a class style. All right. Get some of this blue. I always say this, but hopefully this gives you an appreciation for whenever you see a piece of art and you're like, oh wow, that's really cool. Or you hire someone to do something. It takes time. It takes time to nail something. It takes time to like, um, I don't like that. It takes time to, you know, develop your style and skills and all that, so. Yeah, hopefully you you recognize. Um, let's see. Or maybe it was the it was the hard pastel. Yeah, it was the hard pastel. It wasn't the square. So yeah, whenever you see something, you're like, man, that's really cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy it for free. Just remember, <laughs> it probably took someone a very long time to figure it out, right? Don't be that person. What if the singer wants to bag and patches? <laughs> Maybe so. Hey, I ended up with a tree instead of Akuma's bike, but still, or not Akuma, but Akira's bike. Still play with those settings and you learned. Oh, nice. I'm glad, Anne. Yeah, just draw. Just keep drawing. Do your thing. I really do feel like that's that's the most important thing. Just draw.
just draw So yeah, I'm gonna wrap this up in a little bit here. Hop on my phone call, do my do my ting ting. And then who knows? Maybe I'll be back later today. We'll see. We will see. Yeah, I didn't end up including the person, <laughs> but if you wanted for scale, we could do something like just a silhouette for scale, right? Even if, even if you're not sure what said person's doing, a person edge or representative silhouette can help just give people a sense of, oh, okay, it's that big. Cool. All right, so immediately you have a sense of scale. So that's the power of using a little bit of silhouetting. Silhouetting, is that a word? Silhouette in your, in your sketch. I do want this cable to have a bit more, a bit more oomph, a bit more mm. Mm. I guess I could use the ink roller and then go like, yeah. Fun brush. <clears throat> All right, so the other brush I wanted to use, um, so Fresco has these rakes that are kind of fun that I've been playing with. Like I was telling Mecca, you can get get gritty. So they just they just give you a little bit of texture. I could have, maybe I should have done that. Just gone with like, gone with my usual color um, coloring method to begin with and then add the grit. But again, I'm just kind of experimenting and, and seeing what works for me. So I encourage you to do the same. Find what works for you. So there's this pressure rake, which is kind of cool too. So, and all these brushes are free. The ones I'm using here. If you're an industrial designer, you can always check out. Or even if you're just curious, I do have fresco brushes as well that I've made that are more for like product sketching. So you can check those out. There we go. 
Uh, got you heard Fresco is still playing around with the tools. Yeah, I am using Fresco. And hey, you don't fit in with the Discord. It's okay, Screams in Pain. I'm just letting you know, like, I I started doing this as an industrial designer, product designer, so I do a lot of um, product sketching too, but I love sketching in general. So. Doesn't mean you, you have to go. You can hang out. We'll still, we'll still appreciate you. We'll still appreciate you. Sure appreciate you. Um, <laughs> do I have a drafting desk? I do not. I do not have a drafting desk at all. All right, so I'm gonna wrap this up so I can go take a phone call, but let's do a quick recap. So we did our robot, loose robot painting dude here with some more time. It could, you know, tighten it up maybe play with some scale things, issues that I see, whatnot, but for now it's fine. Okay. Pretty loose. We've got our little person there for scale. Um, we also did this, was it the murderous bunny or the savage bunny? I forget from Monty Python, some quick gestural sketches as well as a little bit more detailed sketch. screams in pain i'm just gonna start saying ah all right and then we also did this watch which you know a little bit more product focused more traditional so um i'm gonna upload these to the uh patreon and google not google patreon and youtube channel member google drive <laughs> say that that's a mouthful um, so I'm going to upload that at the end of the stream so you'll have access to the layered PSD file. And I think you should be able to replay it if you have Fresco. If not, I can export a time lapse for you guys for channel members and patrons. But that'll be available there. If you missed yesterday, okay, you can check out the other videos as well. We did a Mini Cooper painting. This Star Wars speeder with a watercolor and Adobe Fresco and also this sr was it sr 71 something like that so feel free to check it out like i said i've been i've been painting a lot more and trying to just be a bit looser and expressive with my creation so that's where i want to take my art and that's what i'm gonna do be sure to Sorry, I wasn't sure if there was some drama in the chat. <laughs> um, be sure to check out the Discord if you get a chance. If you missed a video and you want to catch something, check it out as well. All right. What about Serpent Charlotte? Tell you what, come back tomorrow. I'm going to do some research. What did you say I had to search for again? Serpent? Serpent Charlotte? Is it a show? Is it a manga? What is it? I'll hang around for a bit till you answer. I missed that. I will not share the car design pick unless you are part of the Discord or not the Discord, the YouTube member or Patreon group. Um, let's see. So yeah, what do you mean by Serpent Charlotte? You can always rewatch the video though, Salmon Artwork on Instagram. But it'll be available on YouTube. Um Fabio says life of a content creator is not easy. It looks fun, but it's really hard. It is. It is really, really, really hard. <laughs> Tell you that. Tell you that much. Okay, Charlotte comes from the anime Puelo Magi Maduro. Okay. I'm gonna look that up. Depending on what I see. I will let you know. I'm not gonna commit to it right away. <laughs> oh, is this is this is it the little character? Okay. Yeah, I think I can do that. <clears throat> I can do something tomorrow. So 
Pick me up tomorrow. Let's see. Tomorrow. <sighs> Man, tomorrow's going to be insanely busy. Let me think. I might have to do like a late night stream, which would be early morning for some of you guys. Um, but we'll see. If not, just come back. I'm, I'm like making a note of it in my... Yeah, I searched, I found it. I'm making a note in my stream notes here. And uh, I will I will remember. So, yeah, I found it. I found it. Um, <laughs> screams in pain. Okay, thanks for hanging, guys. Stay gold. Stay frosty. Remember, passion is the process. You guys are awesome. Love you all. Thanks for supporting me and being here, hanging out, whether you're listening in the background or actively drawing along. Most important thing is just draw. And if you learn something, share something, take some time to explain something to somebody, and I guarantee you you're going to be better for it. So special thanks again to the patrons and channel members who are quite literally supporting what I do financially. I much appreciate it, and um, it, it means a lot. So thank you. Love you all. Take care, and I'll see you guys next time.